you were tuned in to Daily Top 10 on your favorite entertainment channel where we give you all the juicy gist around the globe. At number 10, Yule Doce teases on an album release. Nollywood actor Yule Doce in response to award-winning Afrobeat singer Ayo Balogun, popularly known as Whiskit, saying rap is dead, has packed reactions as he promised to bring it back in a rap video where he captioned that he would be dropping an album soon to revive the dead rap. His caption reads and I quote, At Whiskit Ayo said rap is dead. Well, I'm about to wake it up. The entire system will be shut down. Album dropping soon. Hmm. Fingers crossed. At number 9, Messi declares Sunday as last match in FIFA World Cup. Professional football player Lionel Messi has announced that this World Cup edition is his last as Argentina has made it to the FIFA World Cup final, winning against Croatia in a semi final match by winning by three goals to nil from goals from Lionel Messi and Julian Alvarez. Argentina is to face whoever wins between Morocco and France. At number 8, Toto DK claps back at ex-husband's cousin. Nollywood actress Toto DK claps back at drag by Bemia Desiree, her ex-husband Churchill's cousin, after claiming she fed him and his mother in her Instagram stories. Bemi Churchill's cousin reacted by highlighting how successful and wealthy Churchill's family background is, with how successful he runs charity and how the mom she claimed to feed has been living abroad for over 30 years. Toto DK reacting to this has requested that the accused come and deny her claims and that she won't be used to revive a brand. Her story reads that I quote, I will not be pushed into reviving a brand that only exists because of my power or influence. Let the culprits deny, then I'll be ready. I said what I said. The goal is ahead, never behind. End of quote. Someone seems down for dialogue violence. At number 7, David O is coming, Joy is coming, says Cubana Chief Priest. Joyful reaction sparks as popular Nigerian music artist David O has been confirmed to be performing at the ongoing FIFA World Cup Finals in Qatar by his close friend Cubana Chief Priest. Cubana took to his Instagram page to post a video of him and David O with the caption FIFA World Cup 2022. I'm so excited for Africa, bestie me at David O FIFA boy. OBO is coming, Joy is coming, it's time for Africa. End of quote. The artist's fans are excited that he will be performing after secluding himself since the death of his son Ifai. Been spotted once at his uncle's inauguration as Osho State Governor, though this news was first spotted by Chinese businessman Stephen Hong on his Instagram page. At number 6, Thames nominated for Golden Globe Award. Nigerian music star Temiladi Okwenyi, popularly known as Thames, has been nominated for a Golden Globe Award. Thames was nominated alongside superstar Rihanna, Ludwig Goreson, and Ran Kugler for their collaboration on the song Lift Me Up of Marvel's 2022 blockbuster movie Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Marvel Studio tweeted, and I quote, Congratulations to Thames, Rihanna, Ran Kugler, and Ludwig Goranson for their Golden Globe nomination for Best Original Song Wakanda Forever. Hashtag Golden Globes. Hashtag Wakanda Forever. While Thames took to her Twitter to retweet and caption a shock about the news saying my god this one is too much congratulations falls into places for her following the tweets at number 5, Cheetah Agu finally opens up on her engagement. Following popular Nigerian DJ and singer DJ Copy's post about how she met her fiancé 25 days ago, Nollywood actress Cheetah Agu has revealed that she got engaged to her husband four days after they met in a reaction to DJ Copy's engagement confirmation. Her post reads and I quote, I can officially announce that I'm engaged. Only 25 days ago at Gumball 3000 driving rally, I met the love of my life. Cheetah says and I quote, It's possible, Shao, because I met my husband in four days and we got engaged. Hmm. These are sparked reactions online. At number 4, Anthony Joshua parts ways with coach. Professional boxer Anthony Joshua has parted ways with his coach, Robert Garcia, as it has been confirmed that he's building a new team in the United States by his promoter, Eddie Hearn. Anthony Joshua, who hasn't fought since his defeat to Alexander Usyk, will be returning to the ring in the spring, as lots of talk has been said to be ongoing for him to fight Deontay Wilder in his next fight, though Dylan White has been eyeing up a fight against Anthony Joshua, as he has been calling out for a rematch seven years on from his loss. At number 3, Dr. Helen Orisa Jaffo finally clears the air on divorce rumors. Wife of the former Christian Association of Nigerians president and the founder of the Word of Life Bible Church, Dr. Helen Orisa Jaffo has taken to a Facebook handle to clear the air on speculations that she's divorced. Several rumors had it that her 25 years marriage has crashed, but she says she loves her husband so dear and firmly adheres to the Christian faith teaching, which she cannot go contrary to, and that the rumors circulating is the devil's handwork to soil her image. At number 2, Anita Okoye is focusing on her kids. Anita Okoye, ex-wife to one of the Peace Square duo, Paul Okoye, also known as Rude Boy, is seen posting and celebrating the children and has vowed to continue to care for them and offer them the world and miss her ex-husband flaunting his girlfriend. Paul's marriage to Anita ended August last year and Paul has disclosed that his relationship with a 22-year-old lady is a year old on Sunday and has since then been posting her amidst netizens digging into their past. 
at number one. Yemi Sirunde's blackmailer asked to carry on with threat. The owner of popular radio station Yes FM, also the chairman of Yemi Sirunde's social group, has made known to the public that he has been blackmailed over his nude video, which a blackmailer requested for Ransom to keep the video offline in exchange for his reputation. Yemi Sirunde stated, and I quote, I am issuing this release to let Nigerians know that some powerful individuals who are bent on destroying me have orchestrated this blackmail. I don't know what I did to necessitate this, but I know that they will fail. I suspect some high net worth individuals in the society who got the blackmailer to go after me haven't hitherto sworn to take me down. End of quote. Yet Mr. Rode says he has asked the blackmailer to carry on with his threat. And with that, it's a wrap of this edition of Daily Top 10. For more updates and breaking news, kindly follow us on all our social media handles. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.